This is it, James. It is. This is it. See, the only thing I said I'm worried about is that we're recording this, but it could take a while. Because <laughs> uh, I've not tried it yet. Here we go. Oh, Load your game. Let's hope you'll save. That's your save, right? Level yeah. 77. Playing time 63 hours. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's, let's uh, do this. Let's finish Dark, Dark Souls. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually proper excited about this. This is. Uh, let's put. I need to try and put the microphone somewhere. Okay. You're probably going to knock that off, aren't you? Yeah, if I get let's, excited, yeah. Let's, uh, right, let's just do this. Right, so where should I go? I've got. Well, you need to go. Right, you're in Ana Londo, yeah. so let's go to, uh, look, well, where's your walking. dude? Your dude's in the abyss, right? What do you mean? The, the 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 guy that eats you. Yeah. Yeah, go to where he is. Okay. So I think, from what I remember, no, it's where the, um, oh, the the four kings, it was there. Where's that? The abyss. That the abyss That's yeah. exactly what I just said. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't remember. Okay, let's go. Rocking the Havel's armor. Yeah. Quillo's Fury, Fury Sword and my plus 15 crossbow. <laughs> Your <laughs> fucking crossbow. There he is. He yeah. does look a sock puppet, look at it. Come on. <laughs> a bit stuck on the sides. Okay, let's. Okay. If you wish, I shoot the legendary. Okay. <laughs> is this what you've been doing? Just skipping yeah. past all the dialogue? <laughs> right, okay, let's right. Um, see you got a warp. Very well. Still. Okay. You can skip this. Can you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, it does look crap. Look at it. Yeah, I know. It's, it's <laughs> just weird. <laughs> okay. So this is the final quarter. Sort of do just. Off the souls of the yeah. Okay. Off the souls. Is that gonna offer all of them at once or? Well, yeah. If you haven't okay. done it individually. His hands looking really ropey, isn't it? What's up with that? I guess that the are you, I'm guessing you're hollow. Yeah. Or well, he's got gloves on. I can't tell. It's 360, isn't it? Yeah. Barely high definition. <laughs> Doors opening. Obviously. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, that we can never remain closed. Right. Okay. So what do I do? Just so just go. This is this is the area. Okay. Is there going to be much of a um? What's that? Okay. Who's that? Okay. Is that another person who's playing this, or is that no? So what's up with that? I'm not, I'm not gonna say I can't tell you about the law. Oh yeah, I can. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the kiln of the first flame. Oh, right, so there's a dude down there. I must say, this is not what I was expecting. What were you expecting? I don't know. I was expecting more darkness. This looks more like sort of a ski resort. <laughs> it's like, you know, it, that's not really what I was expecting. Okay. Okay, that's a bad start. Hey, what happened there? I thought I'd done it. A... Okay, I'm dead. Right, so you're dead uh, okay. before you got to the. Yeah. It's right. embarrassing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I still got my plus 10, though, so it's okay. No, oh, that's alright. Useless to you when you're dead, though. Shall I go naked? And just uh, in the game, and, <laughs> um, just, and just run. I don't know if that work because it's a pretty instant boss fight. Okay, are those things? Do they come back if I kill them? Or yeah, so you can dash past them. It's fine. Okay, I might go naked in that case. Uh, some... I would not advise that. Why? Because once you get to the the fog gate, there's not time to. No, there's not time to get redressed, and there's a guy right outside the fog gate. So. Don't worry about retrieving your souls, you don't need them anymore. Can I just leg it? It's... Yeah, they're not the fastest of these. I know you see, your life is massive, but your stamina's quite low, isn't it? Yeah, and that's something... Ooh, okay, that's not Ooh, good. That's been stabbed in the back there. Mm. 
going to catch up. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem, actually, that. In fact, actually, before this, what I probably should have done is used all of those... <laughs> <laughs> this is a really bad start. Okay, <laughs> well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to use... I've got loads of souls left, you know, the ones that you picked up. Yeah. I'm going to use those, and I'm going to level up the stamina a bit. Uh, okay. Because it's... It, I should have done that ages ago. Right, this is it, James. The final fog gate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, you just not, want to get it done now, it's don't not, you? I know, but it's not, though, is it? Because I'm definitely going to die in this first attempt. So Let's see how it goes. I have told you a good tactic to get past this. What was that? Just parry. Okay. And watch his grab attack. Right, okay. So, he's got a fury sword as well. Watch his stamina. Yeah, you're right. Just a little bunch. Oh, I like the music. It's rather nice. Oh, okay. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm being too cautious. No, you're being too insane. Right, you're dead. Yeah. So that lasted about five seconds. Yeah. So that's uh, Gwyn, Lord of Cinder. Yeah. He's got a fury sword as well. <laughs> that's, uh, wasn't you, expecting that. What do you think of him? Um, I don't know. I didn't, sp- <laughs> I didn't didn't fight him for long enough. Now I've got to do all that again. That's okay. I'm going naked, and I'm gonna just get there. Okay. Good luck. This will work. I, I can do this. Right. Here we go. All right. This is so you doing a naked run. Yeah. You still got to watch your stamina. Yeah, stamina I know. But it's pretty gash. It's okay. And uh, you better hope that you can get redressed pretty quickly. Yeah. Because there's a dude right outside the door. And he doesn't fuck about, does he? No. Old Gwyn. Lord of the Cinder. <laughs> I'm just trying to like avoid. Is it? Yeah, there we go. As this is proper Benny Hill style. <laughs> okay, you're in behind me. That's not me. Oh, you are very lucky there. <laughs> this is where going to stammer a bit. How I, I don't know how I'm going to get past him, though. He's a problem. He is a problem. I can't remember how I, did, how, how I ran past him. There is a way. I think he comes through one way and you just... Okay, Watch really. out. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, that's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> okay. Remember, there's two to, dudes down here. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna have to get in there and heal, and also put my armor on. Yeah, you should have healed back there, really. Yeah, but I know. But I've got him behind me, haven't I? Probably. Ooh, close. Right, you're through. Okay. You're healing before the the door. Putting the. Going through the door, put that armor back on. Oh shit! I'm getting hit He's from behind. He's through the door. Okay, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can do this. I can still do this. <laughs> I can still do this. Never face Gwyn with your willy out, James. <laughs> I'm getting battered. He's I crossbow's no good. Oh shit. Even your fucking crossbow. <laughs> oh, it takes off quite well enough. This could take a while though. <laughs> That's okay. it, you gone. No, you got enough life. Quick, quick, quick! Nah, no, you're down, mate. Okay, that's yeah, not gonna yeah. work, is it? Yeah, I'm gonna don't, have to fight them. Don't go there with your really hanging out. Yeah. That's the rule. I'm gonna have to fight him. Here we go. Come oh. on. Pizza's here. Oh, you're joking. Pizza's here. No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm getting. I'm gonna get screwed. I need the money. Get the money. Get the money. Oh fuck. Okay. Okay, he's grabbed me. That's a good start. Okay, I didn't manage a single parry there. And I'm dead already. I didn't even get a single hit in. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to run through it again. 
Although you're not even here, you can't go and get the pizza. I, okay, you, you can, yeah, basically I didn't get a single parry in and just got wasted like really quickly and I got grabbed, it was, it was awful. Yeah. What do you want to do? I want to try one more time and then I want to eat because I'm really hungry. Alright, let's do that. Here we go. Take get it. away from that door. Oh. Right. Like that, yeah? Yeah, parried. Boom. 5-3-6 damage. Just keep doing that. Don't get cocky. All right, all right. Just parries, yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. I need to get back badly. I'm, I'm screwed, aren't I? Because I can't. Well, he's caught you now, so that's another death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so don't. Okay, You've got one parry in. I yep, know, so okay, so after that, just back off and. That's don't, what I'm, yeah. I, I can only tell you what I did. I parried, parried, parried. There was no backing off. There was How much no. Did I take off him? Did you say five three? You'd probably need to do that about eight or nine times. Shit. Okay. Okay. Here we go again. Here we go again. Right. Get away from there. Heal. Right. He's jumping now. Get ready. Could have parried that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. If you miss once, just hold up your shield yeah. after that. No, you... that's it. Ah. Right, yeah. Get something between the two of you. He's grabbed you. See, he, that wind-up to grab you is so long yeah. that you should be able to just back off. Double tap B. Okay. Wow, you're having trouble. I know, because I feel pressure as well. That's, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> I'm not distracting you, just keep looking around like a weirdo. <laughs> you did it again! I know, because you keep fucking with me. Stop it! I'm not doing it's... anything! Here we go. Come on, this is it. You can get it from this one, yeah? Yeah, not that time. Fuck. I should have, it's because I wasn't locked onto him. Oh, this is awful. I can't even get a fucking hit in. <sighs> I was doing better when I first walked in there the first time. Now you've got it stuck in my mind that it's like this, like I've got to parry you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, try your own technique then. All right, all right. This will be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> right, okay. Here we go again. <sighs> I'm not comfortable with parrying that one. So don't parry then. I'm not going. Oh shit. Well, do something. I thought you said you weren't going to parry this time. Yeah, but I've got it in my head now that I've got to do that. Oh, okay, that was the. Uh... Is that, see, that's a big wind up, so you can heal then. Use that. <laughs> James? <laughs> Just don't talk to me, okay? Don't look at me! I know, but it's just distracting. <laughs> oh shit, it happened again. It's alright, it's alright, we're fine. This is it. This is the one. Yeah. <laughs> no, that didn't, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Right. Okay. That's one parry. Yeah. Heal yourself now, quick. I'm doing this. I'm doing. Quick. Right. That's it. Get some distance. Oh shit! Nice, done, yeah. I know. I know. It's right. Oh, mate. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's any point in just keep recording me trying to do this. I think once I've got it down, 
then do it because this is going to be a long time and this, is in, this is entertaining uh, it's not podcasting. entertaining <laughs> it's totally not entertaining at all it's just hearing my exasperation as I just get more and more irritated <gasps> oh well, that's entertaining it's not only for you because you're the only one who enjoys that <laughs> Away with that one. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I'm just pretending you're not even there. I'll stay quiet. That's one parry. Oh, I can't stay shut quiet. Up, shut up. Up. We got a microphone. <laughs> shut up, okay? Don't say a word. Shut up! Don't say a word. <laughs> oh no, shit! <laughs> Fuck! And I knew it was gonna happen you're as well! You're not dead, you're still I know alive. I'm not dead, I know I'm not dead, but I've lost my thing now. See? <laughs> it was kind <laughs> That was your fault! It was going really well! Can you please explain to me and the listenership how that was my fault? <laughs> you distracted me. By doing what? I don't know, just you distracted me. Just, just shut up, alright? Come on, James. I believe in you. All right, all right. Just don't talk. No talking, okay? Because I need to just concentrate. podcast. Yeah, I know, but fuck. That was a waste. There we go. That was a fuck up. Oh fuck. All that bad boy. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do. But it's the, the time you get is not much. He's got to be gone. Okay, okay, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, that was that was pretty good. Okay, that's it, right? That is it, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, James, you've you've completed Dark Souls. I know. Hello. Hello, Davey boy. James Farley. It's like hey. I've got a new fan respect for you. Why? Oh, because you've joined the game in Elite. You know, you're not one of those people that haven't finished Dark Souls. You know, those people. Wow. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. It, well, you know, be a little bit more upbeat, eh? I know, well, it's been weird, isn't it? Because, I mean, it's been a couple of days since it happened. Yeah. And it's kind of over and I feel weird, to be honest. Yeah, but and, yeah. I mean, Wait, in what way? What like what? What are you feeling? Well, first of all, I'm not sure what the ending was about, so I don't feel like I've got any sort of closure with that. I think I'll save that for the the lore episode because I'll probably I probably won't do it justice. But then, you see, for the main game, I don't feel like I really missed anything. Although, obviously, I did because there's there's probably tons of stuff. But over the last few days, I keep thinking about the game, and I keep wondering whether I should try the DLC or not. And then, <laughs> yes, then yesterday, I found myself on the Dark Souls 2 Amazon page with the game in my basket. Oh, um, shit. But I, I didn't pull the trigger, though. You didn't pull the there. trigger? No, it's still there. Well, and... for what it's worth, everyone says, like, the, the DLC stuff is utterly incredible. Mm. 
But I just, I don't know. I didn't feel the need to play it. I'd played all the Dark Souls that I wanted to play and enjoyed it. So I didn't want to risk like, just, just thing, I mean, curious with I, it. I did really enjoy it. And I just keep thinking about it. Like, I've been thinking about it a lot. I mean, you saw like after I'd finished it, I did the first thing I did was I wanted to... I you know, loaded up the new that game That was plus. so fucking funny. You, yeah. you sat there. We, we'd been talking all night about all the... Like, well, in the lead up to you coming to my place, we were talking about all these games that we wanted to play. You know, we want to play Guitar Hero. We wanted to play uh, Pro Evo. There was like... um, I was thinking, oh, well, obviously we're going to play Dead or Alive or whatever. And then it took a little bit longer than I think anyone <laughs> expe- expected for you to, to, to defeat... Uh, Gwyn and then uh, and then we're sitting there and we go oh right we're finally done brilliant excellent we we weren't able to talk about it because we said we'd save it for this phone call and um, and then all of a sudden you're sitting there playing a new game plus like just telling me to be quiet <laughs> right. it's true I, I did just want to play it you know I just was like oh I want to go back to this now you know I've got this powerful character and it'd be interesting you know just to see what happens next and I couldn't resist and like since then, I've been thinking about that. I'm just thinking, uh, but the thing is, I don't. Have you played any more since? No, no, I've not played any more. No, because I considered it. I thought mm, maybe I could continue playing, but then I just thought, but why? You know, why am I still playing this? Because it's it's going to be. I know it's really fun, but it's more of the same. And that's when I started to think about the DLC and about Dark Souls Two as well. And just thinking, oh, I just want something more. You know, I just want to see more. Oh God, it's not <laughs> proper in it. It's like, all in it. I had a I had a massive come down after defeating the game. Um, I think I was a little bit more prepared to let it go than you are. Mm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, I had that moment with uh, Mr. Crab, the <laughs> <laughs> the iOS game. That game took over my life for a while because I just wanted that buzz back of you know playing for because yeah. it's a fucking buzz, isn't it? That that was weird that game because I remember. Like, I remember playing that and then telling you about it, but I was kind of nervous about telling you about it because I was like, is this game garbage or is it actually really good? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure like whether to recommend it or not. And uh, yeah, it, it was good. It turns out I got hope- hopelessly addicted to trying to chase the dragon with it. Like, I was, <laughs> I was pure. I just wanted to do that. What, what was it? Temple of Boom level over yeah, and oh, over yeah. and over again. And then the, the mission was to try and do it without missing a single jump. And I did that. And I was like, okay, now what? Like, <laughs> what can I... I see, I remember doing that. And I was I was playing it in bed at the time. And it was like night. And then and like, Chen was like, after a while, she was like, can you stop moving around? Because apparently I was like, just like holding like my iPhone and just like, you know, getting really into it, and it was yeah, it was terrible. Basically, if you like Dark Souls, listeners, then nab yourself Mr. a copy of, of Mr. Crab on iOS. It's pretty much the same, you know. It's uh, it's it's got the law's not rich quite with big, law, but it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that game is that game is good. And then they re- release the DLC, but it didn't have the same reception yeah. as the uh, the Dark Souls DLC. Um. Yeah, shit, man. It's, it, it, it's like... just weird. I mean, it's just weird because I just feel, and this is going to sound utterly pathetic, but I just feel like there's a bit of a hole there now, like in my life, because it's like there's been like it's been a half a year that there's been it's always been there. Do you know what I mean? Like something that you know I could just keep going back to and playing, and now it's gone, yeah. and it feels weird. It really feels weird that it's it's done. It's very strange. So okay. Let's um I, I don't want to ask you too many questions, right? Because we're doing a questions episode. That's gonna be our next episode, I think. Mm-hmm. And um I want people to, to email in and ask you questions about your playthrough, about what you liked, what you didn't like, so on and so forth. Um and if you'd like to send us a question, uh the Twitter account is um what is it, Dark Calls Pod. That's what I So yeah, I send it to that and um and I will read out your questions to James and we'll, you know, try and crack his mind together. Um, <laughs> but, right, okay, so how did the game compare to, A, everything that I've said about it and, and what many people have said about it, and B, your initial, you know, thoughts on the game? Like, how did that change over time? Um, okay, it's pretty much what you said, actually. Like I think I'd agree with you like what you've said about it, like in the sense that it's an amazing, amazing game, but 
it does have problems as well. Like there's obviously big problems with it as well. Oh, not okay, not big problems, but there are problems with it. But it is amazing. Um, compared with what other people have said, I don't know. I can see. I always just get irritated by that. You know that whole thing about now. Like, you know, it's amazing because it's so hard. That's not the reason it's amazing. That's not the reason it's good. It's not because it's hard. It's it's the whole package. You know, it's the fact that it's like the exploration. It's the, you know, it's working out strategies to deal with things. And it's not just the fact that it punishes you. It's just the fact that, you know, you have to think like when you're playing the game. And that, yeah, that is nice. It's good. Yeah. But then did you, I mean, before you started, were you expecting something different did it like change what you thought the game was or um yeah i was expecting something not quite so sort of open world in a way did you not know it was an open world game not really no i didn't know like a huge amount about it so i wasn't really expecting you know that and also i wasn't expecting the level of law that it's got either like i was really not expecting that because you know i I just i i didn't think it was going to be like as deep as things like um you know, like uh, Oblivion and things like that, you know, which were like with lots and lots of stuff. It's got to be. I, it, I've not played Oblivion, not properly anyway. Um, it's got to be more sort of detailed than Oblivion, though, right? Um, I don't know because I mean it's that's the Bethesda game. I mean, they're I mean they're they're good games, but they're not exactly rich with hidden mythology no, they, and stuff. No, like they that. really are. <laughs> it's they're they're incredibly detailed. Like and like, I mean, I put. I mean, as far as time goes, I put more into Oblivion than I put into Dark Souls. Like the amount of time that I played it for. Yeah, but that's because there was more to do, right? That, that yeah. must be. I mean, the thing is, I mean, the thing is with Dark Souls is it's a lot more like oppressive feeling. Yeah, it's like the thing with Dark Souls is it, it, it continuously feels oppressive like throughout the whole game. Whereas with things like Oblivion, it's not like that. It's, um, yeah, there's like lighter moments and everything. So is it, uh, would you say that different Oblivion is quite different to Fallout then? Because the Fallout game I played, there was nowhere near the amount of detail and you know oh yeah 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 no it's, it's really stuff. quite different i mean it's i mean a lot of the stuff is communicated through like books and stuff that you pick up and then you cannot like, read books you know about stuff and yeah it's it's more detailed than fallout is i mean fallout's got a lot as well but you have to dig more for it it's um but i didn't i didn't feel like because i played fallout for a long time like fallout 3 sorry yeah and i just thought i don't know there's i still didn't really feel much about the world um, oh, yeah, but I think that's intentional, like partly because it's you know it's a nuclear wasteland where there's not much left. Whereas, like in um, in Oblivion, there there's a lot of detail there. I mean, I've got Skyrim, but I've never actually played it. I've only played it like very briefly. I'm hoping it's going to be on the backwards compatible list like soon. But mm. um, yeah, but they're very different types of games. Like those games really are more about like the fact that you're like fashioning a like a, a character. And you're living in a world, whereas Dark Souls is much more of like it's a challenge. Yeah, this is a game. It feels more like a game, if that makes sense. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, th- like a lot of people have said, and I, I can't agree with them more. Um, that this is basically gameplay distilled. Do you know what yes. I mean? It's like um, I totally agree with that. Yeah, it's, yeah, because um, yeah. you know the, the, you've got mechanics there, and uh, you've got like everything's so methodical. It's not it, it, it's not random in any way, really. I mean, there are a few random elements about it, but it, it, in in a, in a sense, it's the enemies have rule sets, and it's you working out those rule sets to defeat the enemies. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Um, and what's you know very clever about it is that there are very very different ways that you could do that. I mean, if you look at some people's playthroughs and stuff, you're like, I've never seen that attack. I I don't even know what that is. Like or how anyone would even get it and then that's when yeah that's that's when you realize that actually this game is a lot deeper than than even you thought you know what i mean like it, yeah you, you probably think it's a really deep game but you should see some of the shit that's in it and you go wow okay no like holy shit like there's there's basically a whole game uh, like an incredible game developed for um for people that have completed the game like uh-huh. with the covenants and all that sort of shit See, and that's and that's the difference with stuff like Oblivion because Oblivion feels more, it feels more like they they're trying and Fallout feels like this as well to a degree. They're trying really hard to make like a living world. Do you know what I mean? That's like yeah, yeah. you know like that. Whereas yeah, Dark Souls doesn't feel like that. It really feels like that. This is this is a a challenge. You know that you got to, you're trying to you know get through. But it has got all the other stuff as well, like with the lore and things like that, which make it more interesting. You know. Yeah. I mean, after we had that last lore episode, it was interesting to hear some of like the 
you know, the stuff. You know, that was because well, there's so much shit in there that you wouldn't even thought of. Do you know what yeah. I mean? And it's like, and then it kind of makes you think of the game in a completely different way because you're you're constantly thinking like you'll come across something and you're like, okay, so why does that exist? Why yeah. has that happened? There's well, got to be a reason. It's a bit like that bit, you know, like towards the end when I, you know, like the the end run before you get to the boss, yeah, and there's those like guys walking across. And yeah, I was like, what's yeah, yeah. that about? You know, and they've got there's got to be something there about there's, that. Yeah, there's definitely a reason for that. I don't know what the reason is. I can't remember. I don't know if it piqued my interest because that's the other thing. Certain things you really care about will be, mm-hmm. you know, different things that I care about. You know, there's there's weird things that I notice that I'm like, like I was kind of obsessed with the butchers down in the in the depths, uh-huh. and I was kind of like, what. What are they? Why are they so different? And why are they so rare? You know what I mean? Like, you only see them, like, in one place. Uh, and there's only a couple of them in the game. So it's kind of like, what, what is their place in the world? And then that's when you totally lose it. I mean, once you're free to start looking into things yourself, you'll be, you'll be screwed for a long time, I think, <laughs> where you're just going to be going around YouTube and, and all different places and just Googling and, de- uh, destiny fucking dark souls wikipedias and stuff like that it's um yeah it's going to be really interesting i think but um yeah so if if you're saying it's not like oblivion then it's not yeah which is fine but what what games would you compare it to if if you had to um i don't know actually i actually no i do know what i'd compare it to i'd compare it to castlevania to be honest. Really? Yes. Okay. I would. Go on, let's hear your reasons. Well, no, okay, I'd compare it to, like, the Castlevania games, not the, probably not the NES and Super NES ones, but definitely to the Game Boy Advance ones that I played, because it's a similar kind of structure, whereby you're, like, sort of, you're exploring, trying to sort of find, you know, where to go next, but also, you know, it's like, you know, leveling up your character, trying to work out how to defeat bosses and things like that, and the atmosphere is quite similar as well. I think, yeah, that's probably the closest I'd I'd come actually. It'd be to that because I I mean I've not played uh, Castlevania, so mm. I can't really comment on that. But like, I I literally couldn't compare it to anything. The only thing I could compare it to was my feelings once it was completed, and that you know that's got nothing to do with what the game's like or anything. But um, I said you know it felt once it was done to me it felt like ocarina of time because mm-hmm. i remember i remember playing it and even when i was like a kid i remember playing it and thinking yeah that is fucking special mm-hmm. and um and i've gone through a journey with this game you know it wasn't just uh oh i've finished the game that's the end let's watch the credits go on it's like holy shit i really do feel like i've i've done something here that i've been through something um yeah but again that, yeah, like, I, think... I don't think you can compare many games to it in terms of you know, how yeah, it plays and what it does. I'd agree with Ocarina of Time. That actually, yeah, because it's like that sort of... It is, because that's also very directed, as in, like, you're going from one place to another, you know, and the the skills that you learn in one area are useful for that area, and then you it sort of builds up. That's true. Yeah, I'd, I'd go for that. Well, it was, it, was, um, it was more the journey, I think. It was more the fact that, you know, like, when it did that big panning shot at the end where it went through all the characters that you'd, you'd been through uh, mm. and that you'd met, like, because I would have loved that in Dark Souls. At the end of Dark Souls, I really, really would have um, liked sort of looking at uh, Lordran or whatever it is, um, and seeing some of the characters that I'd been through. Maybe just take me through the bosses. Uh, not, not like this is the thing. I'm asking Dark Souls not to be Dark Souls. Mm-hmm. If it did that, it would be too in your face, and yeah. that's not the point. Um, but. I, at the same time, it would have been pretty cool to have just, you know, done a pan through areas you've been through and stuff like that. But again, yeah, I, I'm conflicted over that point of view because I do think it would make for a better ending, but um, it's so not what Dark Souls is about. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, it doesn't do any any of that shit throughout the whole game. So why would it just do that at the end? Mm-hmm. Um, did you? I asked you, um, and I, I I'd forgotten we've spoken about this because we would have done it. But did you watch the intro again? No, I haven't seen that again. When you yet. get the chance, boot up the game to the menu and don't touch anything. It shows the like the intro at the start and mm-hmm. you'll be you'll be pretty pretty surprised at what you see. Because you've seen that already, but you didn't really know what it was about. So it's like kind of 
um, it meant nothing to you. Uh, and you didn't really take anything in. Now, when you look at it, you're like, that's such and such. And that's, holy shit. They, all these people that I've been building up to and working through, they're, they're all shown to me right at the start of the game. That's oh, insane. Okay. Yeah, it's really clever. It's really clever. And it like mentions names and all sorts of stuff like that. It's really, uh, really well done. So, um, yeah, fuck. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's been amazing. <laughs> You haven't told anyone, have you? No, no one knows. Well, apart from Shem, but she doesn't care. Did you tell Shem? What did you say when you got back? I just told her, yeah, I, I did it. I beat Dark Souls. And she's like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the dishes? <laughs> yeah. I just didn't care. Like, really did not care. It's, uh, yeah. But it's think... been, that's been quite frustrating because it's like, uh, you know, I, I do want to share this with people, but I can't. It's annoying. Well, we'll get there. Once this is heard, give it a few days and then uh, and then I'll release one of your chains. And you can <laughs> you can tell people. Did um do you, do you have any idea what you're going to do next? Um, what do you mean? You mean for what am I going to play? Gaming, yeah. What like what's your next game or what what you're thinking about doing game wise next? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. It's uh yeah, I really don't know. It's gonna be a tough call, isn't it? Yeah, I mean definitely not. Uh, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> what Dark Souls two? Yeah, you, you're, yeah. I, you're definitely you'll definitely get that by the end of the year. No, I've that? got no doubt in my mind that you'll get that. Uh-huh. I've not played that yet. Uh-huh. I should really, uh, I should really get that on that eventually. But you know, apparently well, it's, it's got loads of spiders in it, so it's it's pretty cheap though. I mean, that's the other reason why I nearly bought it because it was like it was like fourteen quid. Yeah, the price like... the price isn't what does me. Like it's the um, yeah, because the, the the Xbox One version and the a PS4 version is meant to be like so much better than the 360 version which got mm. a bad rap when it first came out but um you know I, I it's not the um it's not the price that's worrying me it's the it's, it's the yeah. uh, time it's the commitment yeah, yeah it's the commitment it, yeah. yeah i mean you committed what half half a year of your life to this game yeah like are you willing to do that again and i don't know if i am at this point there's so much coming out and there's so much still left to play play Still got lots to do on Destiny. Still got, you know, got Guitar Hero. I've been smashing that. Mm. Uh, love it. And, um, and you know, Tomb Raider's coming out. And then once Christmas is gone, there's going to be things like Fallout. And of yeah, course, so I, I always like... play, I always play, um, Call of Duty, don't I? Mm. That's a yearly thing for me. Just the campaign, just play, blast through the campaign and then trade in. <laughs> See, that's the thing. There's, there's Fallout. There's Star Wars, you know, Battlefront as well. I really want to play that. There's just, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that's coming. But also, I mean, I've got a whole ton of Xbox One games that I haven't touched yet. Because like of Dark well, Souls? Yeah, mostly because of Dark Souls. Like, I never got around to it. I mean, I was playing the Halo, the Master Chief Collection. Yeah. And I I got, I'm nearly at the end of Halo 2 for that. I need to go back to that, actually, because that was, that was quite good. What else? Uh, what else? I've got the Rare Replay. I haven't played that yet. I bought these, it, but these are all old games. What, what, yeah, go on. that's the thing. I've got nothing new. I mean, I've got nothing. No, I mean these are these all really they're literally old games. These are all mm. like remastered old games. Surely that's there's true. something new out that you should try. I don't think there is. I can't think of anything. Wow. Yeah, James I mean, the Harley only new... retro gamer. No, no, the only new stuff I've played has been. I don't want to say it, but it's been on Wii U. You know, it's been uh... Jesus. Yeah. I just, uh, do you know what you should do? What after we hang up? Should pop on Amazon, go buy Dark Souls too. <laughs> do you know I'm actually on the page at the moment, <laughs> looking at the screenshots. Just do it. It looks really nice. Like just, the um, just fucking buy it, James. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't ever buy it yet. But you see, one of the other plus points is it is on Xbox One, and that would be quite nice to play something. You can that totally looks stream nicer. it as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I could use Twitch. Use <laughs> uh, <laughs> <was> Twitch. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, have you enjoyed this journey? Have you enjoyed the phone calls? Yeah, generally. Um, apart from the abuse, I've mostly enjoyed it. It's been it's been good. It's all part of the fun, though, isn't it? Being friends with me, you ain't gonna yeah. get an easy ride, mate. You say that. I mean, I mean, yeah. Like <laughs> you recording me finishing the game was was not a fun point. It was Is fucking it? hilarious. You were yeah, just you. weird. Like <laughs> the original plan was to do it in a pub, and um. To explain, the reason why we didn't do that was, A, we couldn't give anyone a date because we didn't know what time, uh, like when James would be ready to finish. B, we didn't know if anyone would 
like properly turn up. We only had a few replies on Twitter saying that they would be there. And I kind of, I'm kind of glad we didn't because James know, fucking bottle went in front of me, let alone a lot of people. <laughs> it you were doing been... this weird thing where you were playing and you just kept looking around at me for no reason. Yeah, because you were sitting there with this face expression of just like, you idiot, like the whole time. And it was like, well, it was you getting weren't, to the... I, t- I tell you why. You're ref- refusing to take my advice. Like, I'm going, just run past these guys. No, 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 no. I'm going to get naked. I'm going to get naked. What got you through? What got you through that, that last bit? My two bits of advice. Run past <laughs> the guys on the, on the way there and parry. And then mm. when you got in there that one time, you were like, I'm going to do my own thing. And then you yeah. dropped that within five seconds. Yeah, because you, like I said, you had that, I had that in my mind that I, the, see, this is the other thing though about this game that is awesome is, you know, I, there are other ways that I could have defeated him, I'm sure. I mean, it well, probably you know, don't you? Because after, after, um, and I fully recommend this if you're a Dark Souls fan and, and you haven't looked at it, um, after I, you completed it, I showed you Jeff Green, the, um, mm. X1 Up, uh, guy. I showed you his, uh, like, final fight. Um, and he's basically he's played through the game, all streamed on the internet, and uh, you can watch him. And uh, he's not a very good game, and that's the whole point. Like the fact that he's not very good at games, and he still managed to finish Dark Souls. Um, but yeah, you, you see the way he took that fight was completely different to yours. Mm. Um, like I, you, you did it pretty similar to me. You did dart about a little bit more, but. I just stood there parrying and parrying and just smashing the shit out of the bloke. And that kind of made me feel that I was like the boss. You know what I mean? I was, I was taking my like final stand. I wasn't scared of this dude. I didn't have to run around. Meanwhile, you were dying all over the place, weren't you? <laughs> it, it, it did fuck? take me a bit. It did take me a bit longer than I was expecting, to be honest. I thought it would be a bit. I don't know. It's just, there, there were, there were other ways to do it. And this is why sometimes I'm tempted to go back and try it again, but it would take ages to get back to that point again. And it, you'd be surprised. I reckon you could ring the first bell within three hours. Mm. I genuinely do. Not, maybe not NG plus, but I think you could ring the first bell in about three hours. Oh man, this was an amazing game, you know. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> it really that's is, fun. isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's it, mate. You're one of us now. Yeah. You're one of those guys that goes, oh, yes, yeah, a bit like Dark Souls. and Oh, yeah, I like the way Dark Souls did it. and oh, It's good because it's hard. You're <laughs> one of those guys, I'm nev- man. I'm never saying that. I'm never going to say it's good because it's hard because mm. that's not the reason it's good. That's, that's bullshit. But, so, yeah. Right. Well, this is it, then. All right. So what have we got next? We've got a... Uh, give it a couple of weeks. We'll do a Q&A. And then maybe another couple of weeks, and we'll do the uh, the law episode with the Midnight Resistance boys. I'm very keen to do that because I've I've got quite a lot of questions now, especially after finishing it. Cool. So. Well, make sure you write them down. And if you want to ask James a question, then send a tweet to Dark Calls Pod on Twitter at Dark Calls Pod, and uh, we'll get to as many of them as we can. All right then, mate. This is it. Final it's, call. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, it's been good. It's not forward uh, and be though. <laughs> and um, congratulations. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Hello. Hello. You know what I mean? How's it going? Uh, not bad. Okay, I did that, and then I beat that boss. You know the bit where you... That's brilliant. Well, I beat the Taurus Demon. Yes, James! That... (laughs) Yes! You you just press forward and B. That's all you've got to do. What... what, what, I can't... I I told you to practice by the bonfire on your own or something for a little bit. Alright, okay, maybe it isn't forward and B. Maybe you're right. See? Yeah, because you were talking bollocks. So, and then you're on the roof, and you're thinking, okay, something definitely is going to happen here. Yeah. I was terrified it was going to be the dragon. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I did it. The thing with the Capra Demon is, it's not actually, <laughs> it's not the Capra Demon itself that is annoying me. You woof, see. Woof. Yeah. It's those fucking bolts. 
it was funny because then after I beat him, it was like, it didn't feel like it was that big of a deal. You know, I was just like, <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, that's because it's not, mate. It's the Capra Demon. He's not even a real boss. No, the Capra Demon was way worse than this. That was the worst thing in the game so well, far then. for me. So what, so what have you done? What, what, where's that Capra Demon now, James? Where I didn't, is have, that eggs, I didn't have eggs on my head Listen when that to happened. me. Where is Capra Demon now? He's yeah. fucking in the ground, isn't he? Who put him there, James? You did. <laughs> now pull yourself together and kick that fucking spider's ass. But yeah, ding, ding, ding. I did it. Um, yes, James. I don't know how to approach the subject, really, but, but y- y- you sort of said something. You said, apparently, and then you stopped and said, oh, it's an uncommon one. Mm-hmm. How do you know it's an uncommon one? I might have had a look. Yeah, yeah, it was like hopping along. And then for a second I thought, oh, it's a bit sad that. And then I thought, no. And then I just, then I just like, yeah, we stopped a few more hours and killed him and then felt pleased with myself. Go and have a bit of that. Shit. Oh, no. He's going to do me. He's going to do me. He's done me. Okay. James, on behalf of the Dark Souls community... Yes. Uh, I introduced to you... Oh, he fell off. <laughs> I introduced to you the archers. Because the thing is, is also, because each time I've done it, I've killed Smo first. And it's really hard because he goes, like, Ornstein goes massive and then just keeps throwing electricity at me all the time. Yeah. And you know, it's, like, really hard to get away from that, actually. Like, you can roll and dodge it and everything, but it's not always like, 100%. Yeah. And I end up just dying. I just did it just a minute ago, and yeah, I feel amazing. I'm, I'm not a brony. So what did you do? Well, I didn't fight her. It doesn't, I don't feel like I'm using any strategy here. We're playing Dark Souls, obviously. Um, it's a good game, made, isn't it? It is pretty good. With the Four Kings, this generally was just a numbers game, like, in the end, yeah. I found, like, because I upgraded my armour a bit, and then I did it again, and I, after about two more attempts, I did it. I don't know, I, I just hate it. I don't like people touching me. And either, like, each time it, it takes off, like, I don't know, about three quarters of my health, yeah. and then also takes me perilously close to, like, an edge, and then yeah. most of the time it just knocks me off. I've beaten it. I mean, I've beaten, I've beaten everything else. But seriously, it's unbelievably awful. Oh man, we've got to remember his name. How can we forget that? No so, clue. It's not like Jester or a Joker or. I think it was Jester, actually. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of rugby. Yeah, what did you think of Neato himself, though? Um, again, kind of, yeah, horrible. So then the boss was okay. Um, I got through to that and I, I did it on my second attempt, which is the fastest I think I've ever done one. And it's definitely up there as like one of the most memorable games I've ever played. Wow, there we and are. That's what we want to hear. <sighs> I was doing better when I first walked in there the first time. Now you've got it stuck in my mind that it's like this, like I've got to parry it. James, <laughs> oh. <laughs> just don't talk to me, okay? And this, is in, this is entertaining uh, It's not entertaining. <laughs> it's totally not entertaining at all. It's just hearing my exasperation as I just get more and more irritated. <sighs> oh, well, that's entertaining. It's not only for you, because you're <laughs> the only one who enjoys that. <laughs> that is it, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. James, you've, you've completed Dark Souls. I know. 